good to be in God's house this morning. Give me a few minutes. Bibles over the same way who come to the Lord. St. Luke 8th chapter. St. Luke 8th chapter. Power to on this. I ain't going to get this other out. I'll just have to go on. I uh, appreciate what God does. Hey. I preach this, Lord, I've since been preaching this. But a woman here is uh, down in the 43rd verse. St. chapter 34. 30. 43rd verse. I've been preaching this years and, and Lord give me a thought on it the other day. And, uh, I thought, Lord, it said, thought about this. And I said, and the uh, 34th verse said, 30, 43rd verse said, and the woman having an issue of blood 12 years, which had spent all her living upon fiscals uh, and never could be healed. Of any, as I read that, and I, I thought about this, right? And I thought about this over the years, and I preached that this woman left with nothing, right? And man, as I thought about that, and uh, another day it come to me, church, that she left with something. I, I was thinking about this, and just pray hard for me this morning. As I, I I thought about it the other day, and you might be thinking, well, what did she leave for you? Uh, uh, discouraged. This woman left that last doctor, that last person she went to that didn't have a thing in her pocket no more. Left dis discouraged. Oh, yeah. Amen. Uh, left heartbroken. Amen. That's what this woman had with doubt. Uh, how many today, church, in our life have, amen, in your Christian life, amen, and uh, how the devil, he'll come to you, amen. He'll place doubt in your heart to discourage, amen. You ever been discouraged? Yeah. Oh, I've been so discouraged. I didn't know which way to go, amen. But uh, churches, I thought about this little woman here, and uh, the last one, the last one she went to, and probably left out the door, heartbroken so much. Amen. I'm wondering, what am I going to do? Have you ever been in a time you wonder what you're going to do about your problems? Uh, uh, say, well, I've got nothing. The devil come to you and say, well, what's the use? How many has ever just come back? He's come to you and says, what's the use? Oh, yeah. You might as well just give up. You might as well just quit. I wonder if this woman, the devil, come to her that day and said, well, you might, you might as well just give up. You ain't going to be healed. You ain't going to be nothing. Oh, yeah. You're just going to be an outcast. Amen. 
Uh, this woman said, I ain't no doubt. He said, you're just going to be out because you're going to be nothing. And that is the devil ever come to you and told you to the same thing? Hey, man, my church, I, I tell you, the devil's a liar and he's the father of it. Amen. <laughs> he cannot tell us the truth. Amen. Truth ain't in him, Raymond. It's not there, Brandon. The truth is never in the devil. Hey Amen. And uh, that's what he wants to do. He's wanting to discourage us. He wants to uh, put us down and say there's no use in nothing. They ain't no use to going on in life. Hey Amen. They ain't no use. Uh, I wonder how many people are down in church t- uh, this morning. Hey Amen. The devil's told them that there's no use you are doing it. There ain't no use you are going on. Uh, ain't no use to you are praying. There's no use. Uh, when we mess up, son, uh, has anybody in this house beside me ever messed up? Hey man, we mess up, and how many times the devil come to you that you might as well just give up? You messed up. Yeah, you're nothing. You're nobody. Hey man, so many times, hey man, and I could just imagine this little woman when she left that, hey man, and said, hey man, in church, on the issue of one of them ways, we ain't supposed to be put aside. Right, they put. Hey man, according to the law and how this, hey man, and here she was. Hey man, the church ain't been many days. Hey man, then I walked away. Hey man, my head held down. And the devil had in here saying, and you know what? Sometimes we get to believe in it. Hey man, we get to believe in it. Oh, but church, I tell you, maybe she got to believe. I'm never going to be healed. I, Lord, I'm just going to be outcast of this thing. Nobody can. I've seen everything that I have. You ever been a time in your life you felt like that? That you spent everything that you have spiritually? Hey man, that I've got nothing. How many's ever thought I've got nothing left? Yeah. I ain't doing. I'm not got a thing left. Hey man, church. Hey man, maybe it's what she said. Oh, but friend, I, I have to go over there in second chapter, Ephesians, amen, down in the fourth verse. But God, <laughs> hallelujah, but God, church, amen, amen, and I could just imagine, amen, going along this woman, maybe a kick in the gravel, amen, the devil got her so far down, but, amen, but she heard, and I'm just going to say, I don't know how. I mean, she heard it or seen it, I don't know. You picture that for yourself. But I'm just going to I'll say, maybe she heard something going on over yonder. Amen. And she got close. Amen. And maybe they heard some whispering. Amen. Oh, yeah. They were man over on the other side of this crowd. They were man that's been a hit. <laughs> oh, God of Uyghur. Ain't a man there that's been a healing. Amen. You, you go down through life's road, amen, church. Have you ever had a whisper come to, me, uh, to you over on the other side? It's going to be all right. Oh, hallelujah. Uh, church, I'm glad, praise the Lord. Uh, I tell you, it's going to be all right. Uh, amen. The devil's a liar. Amen. Uh, he wants you discouraged. He wants you. Uh, amen. To feel uh, down. He wants you to feel like an outcast. He wants you to give up. He wants you to quit. Amen. Uh, but they won. Uh, I'm thankful for the Spirit of God that we can wait for uh, uh, to her heart, church. And tell us everything's going to be all right. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. And as she said, I hear, amen. Have they ever, any, any time in your life that something has stood between you and God? Is it just been me? Oh, church, they've been problems in life that stood between me and the Lord. Amen. 
And what did I do? Amen. Here you've got the devil on one shoulder and the Spirit of God on the other. That was still small voice. Amen. I just press through. Amen. Church, I'm going to tell you, I think we can press through the crowd. Just as that little woman started pressing through the crowd. Amen. Amen. And she pressed through. Amen. And just kept on getting caught. Don't it feel good to get close to Jesus? Don't it feel good to come? <laughs> what? Hallelujah, church. It feels good. Glory be to Don't it feel good to get close to Him? It feels good to feel Him. Holy Spirit, amen. I like it more when the hair starts rolling back on you. <laughs> Woo! I'm going to tell you, it feels good. Amen. Praise the Lord. And she got cut close. Amen. Then all Boy, don't it feel good to just reach out and touch. Touch him. Amen. And right then, immediately, that issue of blood dried up. Amen. Yes. And what did she leave with then? Everything. Thank you. <laughs> what did she leave with then? The devil had her down. The devil said, there's no way. But in my way, she reached out and got a hold of his hand. Amen. They things happen, church. Amen. She left with her peace. She left with joy. She left with healing. Hallelujah, church, where we can reach and get a hold of him. We can relate with some. Amen. That's what the devil wants to do. He wants you to leave with nothing. Well, I said nothing, but all these things that I talked about this morning. Are you in that position? Are you in that shape? This morning, the devil talking to you. All you got to do, friend, whatever the problem is, whatever that. Uh, crowd is. Whatever that thing is in our life, we're going to have to press through it. Amen. We have to press through that. Amen. Would it be doubt this morning? Would it be? I don't know, church. I ain't, I ain't no need me getting in. Amen. But God, you and God knows. Amen. God knows what we have to press through. God yes, knows the problems, church. Amen. Yes. You know the problem. And, Lord, church, if people could just realize, amen, they believe in people's turning to things in the world. You know that? Oh, yeah. They're turning. They're turning. What are they turning to to help them? You know the pill, Lord, help the pills. They're turning to the dope of the world. They're turning to this. They're turning to that. Amen. They're trying to find some kind of help like this little woman. Amen. And when she, amen. But what did she have when she left? In her pocket. She didn't have no money left, did she? She didn't have nothing to. Amen. That's what happened. Remember when the, uh, the young man went to his dad, father, and said, Father, give me everything that belongs to me. What happened to him, church? Amen. He went down the wrong road. Yeah. Amen. He went down the road. Amen. Uh, uh, church, I love that song. It's that same road. Uh, uh, that was took me through. Uh, it's the same road that I've got to take back. Uh, amen. I tell you, uh, that's my church. Amen. As he went down there and uh, he had to get down in the hog pen. That's a hog pen out there. Oh, yeah. Amen. It's a hog pen out there. Amen. But he had to realize what kind of shape that he had got in. A church, amen. One day you had to, and I had to realize what kind of shape that we is in. Amen. Praise the Lord. But God had mercy on you and I. Amen. And welcome us. I'm glad, thank God, when we went back to him, church, he ran. I was in spiritually church. He ran and put his arms around and said, welcome home. Hallelujah. Welcome home, child. Welcome home in the family of God. Amen. Amen. The 
old devil church. He's there. The devil wanted to destroy. He'd destroy your lives. Oh, yeah. You think the devil would destroy anybody's life? Yeah. If you ate him. And it's sad to say this morning, maybe a lot of people ate him. Yes. <clears throat> Amen. Maybe a lot of people ate him. Amen. But God, church. <laughs> Amen. I love that verse. And that has probably, and I love all the Bible. Amen. Uh, that's one of my favorite verses in Ephesians 2 and verse 4. I believe verse 4. But God, who was rich in mercy. Hey Amen. I'm thankful we got mercy. Right. But church, what would be your crowd this morning that you're going to have to press through? Or anything. You know, I don't know what the situation is. I, hey Amen. But I know what the devil can do. And I, as I read that, and I thought about this little woman when she left that last doctor. And I preached to them, and I sent them down preaching. And I preached. She left with nothing. Lord showed me the other day she left with something. Yes. Mm. Lord, no hope. <laughs> hey, there ain't no hope for me. You ever feel like there ain't no hope for you? I ain't but back here. I have people tell me there's no hope for me. <laughs> tell me there ain't no hope for you. But God, thank God for God's mercy, church. He's seen something. Amen. He's seen something in each and every one of us. Amen. And he knows this little woman's heart. He knows the shape that she is in. Amen. Amen. But I'm thankful for the love of God. How he loves us, church. He cares for us. Amen. But she had to press through the crowd. She had to press through is it any difference today, church? Is it any difference? The devil will try his best to put something between you and God. Amen. He'll try his best. Amen. The church will have to press through it. Every what it may be. Sister Lee, that's my message, church.